have a dream That's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Hi, welcome. Welcome to the series videos. Like you know, in the series videos, I will answer a question about copyright in Australia. So let's look at the question for today's video. The question is, can I copyright my website? Thing is, this is a uh, difficult question. It's not like um, there's no answer or I do not know the answer. But the thing is, it depends on the situation. I'm going to explain to you how it works so you can get a clear view of how it works and based on that if you have a question you can just go on the discord and ask me directly so for those who are new to this channel and if you like this kind of video make sure you subscribe and if you want to support us make sure you press the link in the description so let's go to the drawing board I'm going to explain how copyright work how the system work I'm also going to show you what's important when you look at the website so let's go to the drawing board in many videos I explain it that when you talk about code copyright you always have three things you have A, B and C. A is the right itself so when you talk about A you need to think about um, copyright and the right itself so when you create something on a picture you create a picture you have on that picture copyright based on that law. B it's a copyright holder so the person it can also be a company so it can be a person but also a company and C is a third person that wants to use your right yeah so we have that the thing is as soon as you create something you have copyright as soon as you meet the requirements of copyright you have copyright it's a right copyright doesn't protect anything automatically the copyright holder needs to take action that's simple so what about the website if you look at it when you create a website let's say this is your website and on the website you have let's say we have videos on your website we have pictures on your website and let's say we have a little bit blog on your website right three things three different things content the thing is behind the website you have a source code so how the website works and it makes sure that everything works and the source codes needs to be on something in order to work so technically the source codes is on a server so this is a server when someone goes on a domain name you will see the website that's simple right so we have the server there you have the source code and then it will show this right the thing is if you look at this this is so this is a video this is a picture this is the content this is the code code video picture and this is let's say text if you look at all this if you are the creator of all of this you have copyright on all of the website yeah but sometimes most of the time people let someone else create a video someone else create a picture someone else create the i say the text someone else create a website then you have different kind of copyright holders and then it's really important what is the relationship between the copyright holder and the person that claim that the owner of the website you understand what I mean? So for example, if I hire someone to create a website for me, the person to create a website, what does what's the relationship between him and me about the code? Do I get all the copyrights on it or not? Did he create the website itself? When you create a website, you have a team most of the time, and most of the time the developers they use a team unless they create everything from scratch. So if they create a team, do they have the copyright on that? Or do they give me a right to use it so sometimes if you don't know you have let's say developers that create a website let me see sometimes you, um, I do not know if you know but sometimes you have developers that create a website they create a website but the website is based on a team and because the team is made by another team developers they just change some things on the website the copyright belongs to those developer not the person that created for you so this make things complicated so 
best thing which you can do is when you make sh when you hire someone to create something for you it can be a video picture content or website you need to think about okay what's my relationship with that person do they give me the copyright or do they give me the right to use so let me try to explain in this case i'm the person who wants a website they create a website for me let's say in this person that's the right itself to write on a website they are the copyright holder do they give me a license to use it or do they transfer the copyright to me you understand what i mean and that's why it's important when you hire someone to make video for you same story you just pay him for the hours that he's there you're not paying anything for the copyright he just gives you the right to use it when they put some videos together he just gives you the right to use it same apply for the picture when someone when you hire someone to take a picture on an event and you want to use it on your website you need to make sure that you have the right to use it most time they don't say anything about it it's not a problem but what if you get the picture and use it for something else do you have the right to use it and that's something you need to keep in mind so if you look at the question question is can i copyright my website it depends because if you create everything yourself and you meet the requirements of copyright you don't have to do anything you have copyright on it because you meet the requirement of copyright but if you let someone else create the things that you have on a website for example the video the picture the text the source code or the themes you need to make sure that they transfer the copyright to you so b need to transfer the rights to c you need to become the copyright holder most of the time when you ask for that the price for the website for the creating for the video or the picture will be more expensive because they are transfer all the copyright to you so keep that in mind so let's recap can i copyright my website it depends if you create by all by yourself and you meet the requirements of a copyright yes if not you need to make sure when you hire someone and they create your website or they create things on your website you need to make sure that they transfer the copyright to you or you need to make sure that you have a right to use the content if you have the right to use the content you need to look at the license and you need to make sure that you are allowed to use it and not in other cases so if you have question about this or there's something not clear just come to discord and ask me directly if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content make sure you subscribe if you want to support us, make sure you press the link in the description. I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.